Everyone's having a wonderful day. Today it's been going pretty well so far. Um, I've been doing uh, one-on-ones today. Um, but several one-on-ones today. I've had two so far. I have another one. I'm curious, you know, how much does everyone else value their one-on-ones? Does everyone do them? Could be. Um, they're definitely worth their time. Um, like today, meeting with my peer tech leaders. EA lead, the test lead, all the uh, DevOps lead. You know, having discussions about you know what are, you know what do the developers need, what do they need. You know, really good discussions, and, and like I say I highly value time I have with. All right. So yesterday we were we were working on. Copal is a site. We were just trying to get entities built. Um, and we're going to continue some more of that today. Um, one of the things I was looking at, let's go ahead and switch over here. So I was looking at uh, this library, or this package, I'd say, uh, for, for working with, with Gremlin. So it's uh, Gremlink. This is Gremlinq. I'm not sure how they want to be pronounced. Um, I was looking at this library, and so definitely does some things differently than the libraries I was using before. But as I mentioned, the library I was using before um, basically been abandoned, uh, which is a shame, but that's what happens to open source. It can be the hard part about dealing with open source. Before I forget, let me remember to put myself as do not disturb. Because there have been quite a few team messages going throughout the day. I don't need that to continue. Luckily, I don't think anything, uh, nothing should impact where they need my input right away. We are prepping for a release for next week. Lots of teams messages going back and forth today. All right, so anyway, I'm looking at this, uh, this library. And sure enough, this definitely is doing some things differently, but it is going to meet my needs. So um, long story short, some of what I was doing, I'm not sure is going to make a difference. So you, if you remember, I was... I was writing, I was uh, putting the attributes to define the name. I'm not sure it's actually going to use that. Um, so, but we're not going to get too much further. We'll start, for, you know, we'll see what happens. All right, so let's go to our two different Visual Studios. And, you know, we're, uh, we were working on, on name. And sure enough, I didn't get any further. I, I, I was actually hoping to get a little bit further last night. Um, but uh, I had a bunch of Copalooza work to do last night. Um, lots of work trying to get that ready and planned. <laughs> trying to figure out actually how we're going to pull this, this live virtual event off. In closer to that, but still some more work to do there. But at any rate, you know, uh, uh, I, I didn't get a chance to do this. Plus, I was reading some articles. But uh, so let's just go ahead and finish document this thing. Uh, tagline is the correct pronunciation. Pretty sure tagline is one word. Always helps to check the internet. And it's going to go real slow for me right now. Here we go. Tagline. Tagline. Yeah, it's one word. Okay. I thought. All right. So we'll just... Okay. Set the tagline for the event. And this will be a string representing the event tag. So but what I'm not gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna not do my my JSON properties at the moment. I, I, I'm going to play with that. You know, uh, Maybe we'll get to that today. I'm not sure. We'll play with that once we actually start writing Cosmos. All right. Uh, so, it's, uh, so let's see about information. About information for the for the And 
and then name of the location where the event. Actually, I want to call it primary location. And like, for example, uh, you know, if we were still in person, we were actually be two places. Uh, our keynote was going to be a different. Location. So this is a string representing the primary address document. Uh, document. Yeah, or the primary, the address for the Postal address for the event primary location. <clears throat> and we'll, this is going to be C postal address um, representing the event primary location. Start date for the event. This is so much fun, isn't it? But you know, uh, this adds value later. Like I said, we can have documentation, people who have never used this before understand this. I mean, grant you, this is just property setters, so it's not, I don't know, pretty, it is actually pretty well defined. No, sure enough, because I want to get a little bit further. I'm going to stop here, take that one off. I'm just going to stop there. You can add that later. Just thinking about that. I want to get further. <clears throat> Always, you know, add a task to back to this. All right, so we've created these. This is our event. All right. <clears throat> so one thing I do notice is missing. We have the ID of you. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want before I start. Or write it, you know, looking at how to get this to work. I think so. That lines it. At least I can create an event and have an address so I can, okay, yeah, that way I can have some, some relationships. Okay, great. That's a, uh, oh, do I have Visio installed on my machine? Do not at the moment. That's a uh, good visio. Um, yeah, the problem, I knew to have a machine. I probably should have finished setting this up. Funny, Kevin Griffin, that's what he was doing on stream last night. He was, he was uh, rebuilding his machine. He called it his lazy stream. Um, uh, I might have to do it eventually to this account. Um, one thing about this machine, it, it, so I had it built by, you know, I bought it from a company, you know, it's a system integrator. So you, you tell them what you want. And they have their, they have their set of things. Uh, uh, and they did a pretty good job. It's a cyberbuilderpc.com. They did a pretty good job. The, the thing they did mess up, I bought the super fast SSD drive. Uh, paid extra money for that. And and then you know for like thirty five dollars extra they were you know include a, a regular spinning disk two terabyte drive I'm like yeah why not 
So basically, got a super fast uh, uh, SSD, two gig, and then two gig of hard, regular hard drive. They, um, for some reason, they made the the spinning drive the C drive instead of the other way around. Even though I mean, I I, I checked it, I made sure that I had it, had it right in order. I definitely had it right in order. But I didn't notice this until I'd already installed a bunch of things. Um, so I, at some point, I'm going to need to rebuild this. You know, rebuild this, the OS and such. Uh, I don't know how long I'm going to wait for. What is this? VS Descriptions product list. It's not what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for Visio. <clears throat> And basic point, I want to get uh, Visio installed, so I can diagram. Uh, and we need, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's really good to, to diagram your, your, your thing, especially when we talk about graphs, um, so you get an idea of what you're doing. And we should be doing this anyways. Let's just download this, it shouldn't take too long. Working, I shouldn't show that on the stream. <laughs> All my keys. All right. Be done just here in another moment. A little bit slower, Dad. Uh. Theory, I, I am streaming right now, but in theory, my internet should still be pretty good. Um, because I'm uploading, I'm not downloading, right? Oh, this is going a little slower than it should. And if you're wondering why I'm complaining, I mean, it's going pretty quick with it. I, I, I have a, a gigabit uh, service. Recently upgraded. It's nice. Definitely, definitely glad I did an upgrade. Um, funny. I mean, I've been on this cable modem for a long. Well, I'm on a new modem now, but you know, I've been I've had this service for quite a while, years, and I was paying a really old price. Uh, it was much more expensive, and I was really happy when you know. I mean, I I, I am still paying more than before, but. I, Definitely made it worthwhile. Because uh, even though I'm complaining, I am downloading a 3.3 .3 gigabyte. <laughs> you know, in what? Two minutes, three minutes? <clears throat> All right. Six seconds. All this just so I can draw a simple diagram. Open it and shut up. Okay. Guess while well, we've got that going. Uh, go to our portal. I, I guess I just have an accident. It was doing something. Oh, yeah, good. I have a feeling this is downloading again. 
2. Listen, I don't know. This description is probably good. Okay. Did, I, uh, did I just download 20? 86, 64 bit. All right, I, I do something. All right, it's moving along. All right. Anyway, uh, so we, I created the, uh, the, the uh, database the other day. I think it was Tuesday. Uh, so here's our here's our database account, Osmos account. So when you create this, you actually create an account. So um, now what I want to do, you know, I want to actually create the database. Uh, okay. So we can go go to Data Explorer, and so the account is called Copalooza. Now we're going to create a new graph, <coughs> and. I'm going to be real original, and I'm going to call this Coopalooza. Um, that's going to be my database ID. We're going to leave it. I'm going to do the autopilot. I'm going to, uh, so, so here, let me, let me explain what I'm doing here. So I'm creating a database. You know, uh, and really, it's just a construct. And, um, you know, yeah, it goes to a namespace. Good, good way of... And... Again, the name could be whatever could you know whatever you need to name it. I'm gonna name it Copalooza because that, that's what this is. It is the database for Copalooza. All right, then you need to pick your throughput. So here's the the whole thing. You know, so throughput. This is what you're basically paying for. I mean, you're also paying a quarter per gigabyte for storage, but uh, this is the main thing you're paying for. Is this right? And this is where you gotta be careful, right? So you can see I start off. It's uh, point. It's uh, what? It's three point two cents per how it works out or roughly $23 a month right depending on, on how many days we're in that. um so here's the cool part now this is still in preview um if I remember correctly this is going on a preview very soon maybe next week uh, or week after with a uh, build I forget the exact dates pretty soon it's going out but autopilot's really nice so I mean I can set this manually and you have to have a minimum of 400 um, and you have to set them in, in, in lots of 100. So I can't say 410. Not allowed. Uh, what else we allowed? Anyway. Oh, no, 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 I'm not. I'm not saying that correct. It is allowed. Um, where is it? I forget. But anyway, you can have, you can do, uh, you can have your, your manual, which is the, the way how it's been for the longest time. Uh, or now they have this autopilot. Autopilot is really nice. So in here, you can see in here, uh, I, I can choose my max RUs, right? So, uh, so if I pick 4,000, right? So, and this might be a little bit, let me make this a little bit bigger you can see on the screen. Uh, except for now, I'm in the way. Move it over here, so I'm not in the way anymore. Um, yeah, so your uh, automatic scale between 400 and 4,000 are you based upon work worth uh, as long as your storage doesn't exceed 50 gigs. So there's a there's a limitation. You know, if, so if you go up, you go past 50 gigs, then you got to go to the 20,000 are you. And, and you notice it scales you from 2,000 to 20. Um, I have heard, you know, there there are some uh, some changes coming with this uh, where they're going to let you change the autopilot a little bit more so it's and right now it's pretty strict so 400 400 4000 2000 to 20000 10000 yeah 10000 100000 and 50000 500000 i grant you i mean yeah really if you're needing 500000 are you if you need to even peak at 5000 500000 are you quite a bit you know just to give you an idea it, it, 500,000, you know, 50,000, 500,000, that's $40 an hour, right? I mean, that, that, that gets expensive, right? You know, every day it's going to cost, it's going to cost you $960. Um, at any rate, there, there's talks of, of changing this sum. I'm going to do this for 4,000 RUs. But the harder part about the autopilot, like I was saying, is the data size requirements, right? So like I had a database that I was working on for work and we really didn't need 
more than the 4,000 RU. Uh, uh, but we were bigger than 50 gigabytes. And so, you know, I mean, so that's one, that's where some of the restriction comes up. Um, and while I'm, I am looking forward to the fact that they're going to have scale this up so big, I can't even roll a little bit bigger. So, all right. So we've got that. So now, um, now we need to give a graph ID. This is your container name. Um, and again, this is your code code Blizzard. All right. So one of the things, you know, so traditionally with, with a document database, we would, uh, oh, hold on one second. I'm sorry, I need to look at something. All right. Sorry about that. Um, one of my employees is doing something really awesome. I had to kind of quit. All right. Um, so, uh, you know, this is your, 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 is your container name. Uh, unique within the database, you know, so forth. Um, oh, where I was going with this. So when you're dealing with like the a, a typical document database, a lot of times you'll have a container for each type of, of um, you don't have to. Um, actually, if you use any framework for, for Cosmos, uh, it actually wants you to put them all in, in the container and does something else to it. Uh, but for here, we're gonna, uh, you know, for graphs, normally keep everything in the same container um, because that's actually how it works. I, I can't, can't have an edge go across a container. So again, we'll, we'll just call that Copalooza. Now our partition key. Partition keys, these, these are tricky, right? You wanna make sure, and I'm gonna have a hard time with this. I, I gotta, I'm actually thinking about this right this moment. So the thing about partition keys, <coughs> yeah, wide range of values, Evenly distributed across uh, pattern access patterns. That's where the hard part comes up. So, what do you do? Is a so here's the thing. This partition key has to be the same partition key in all of the of the whole thing, right? So, air, all the uh, different vertexes have to have the same partition, whether you know whatever type they are. Um, and the trick with that is what do I call the partition key? Because, you know, different things want different, you know, different things need different, different things. I think what I'm going to do, hold on a second. I see I have a screen here. What was Outlook? Fine. What was that? Oh. Can't fully see the screen here. That's holding up a, a Visio install. Um, anyway, all right. So partition. Long story short, partition key gets a little bit tricky. I am going to call this event ID. Uh, now here, here's here's the trouble I'm having with it. All right, and the reason why I'm I'm thinking about this a little bit more than I normally would. The trick about the uh, partition keys, I basically what I've done is create a hot partition. Because most everything that people are going to do are going to hit this year's event. There's going to be some things once we add in previous years and they'll be, you know, they'll be hitting that. But really most things, especially rights, are going to be against this year's event. But I still think this is the right way of doing it. So long story short, that's what we're going to do. All right. Anyway, we're going to... Create the event ID. I need to make this. Portal does not do very well when you when you scale up and down the size. Yeah, I can't even build it that way. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click. Yeah. And here's the actually it's very easy to to drop and recreate containers. Um, right, so long taking. Normally it goes pretty quick. There you go. So now I have I have my container. You know, it looks a little bit different, right? So you can see some gremlin code in here. I'll describe that more later on. This G, so everything starts with G dot and whatever. So this is just saying 
get me all of the vertices. All the same. Of course, there are no vertices in here. All right. That's cool. That's great. Yeah, what I want to do. How far? Man, this is taking longer. I wish I thought about installing this before. I knew it. I knew I was going to do this. I knew I was going to go to Vizio during this call. I should have. Uh, I should have gotten. Ramp. Just taking a while. Just making sure I don't have anything. I was making sure I didn't have like a a window waiting for my prompt. I did have a moment ago. This is exciting, isn't it? Watching something install. Here we go. Perhaps this is maybe do something different. All right. Now I should be able to go to Vizio. Okay, it said it was going to close Vizio. All right, well, I do love when things open up full screen. You know, I have a 49 inch widescreen, you know, when things open up widescreen, it's, it's big. All right. Now we can follow here. So I'm just going to create a, a regular graph. And you normally depict everything as circles. Let's start, and it's, I like building my stuff out here. Actually, I'm going to show some other things I'm, I'm going to do. So I, I do, I generally do some things in my gremlin down. So, so we're going to have this in here. <clears throat> At least for the moment, I'm going to have a dead center. And this is going to be event detail. <clears throat> so very simple. To make this font a little bit bigger. All right, so we're going to have this event detail. And you know, we're going to need another, you know, because again, you know, if we look at the code we have so far, we have event detail, we have event day, I have that, look at type. So, so we're going to have uh, event day, and here, and then, postal address. Make it make sure to read. And we're gonna have um um uh, called it ad. It really should be postal ad. Okay. So we have those and then we're gonna draw our connectors. Oh you just closed me it did say that it needed repair and it was gonna close on me but when i didn't do it right away i thought we were good oh, okay now it's gonna ask me a product key you know not everyone uh, i actually don't want everyone to see that and i now need to go back and grab that key Hold on a second this time i remember not to do this on on the stream No, what's not allowing me to paste it? Oh, I copied it, copied it in a carriage return. Now, I've lost that diagram I started, but that's okay. I didn't get a whole bunch. All right. Again, we'll start a uh, circle in here. And then 
Stuff. And today. Postal yes. and postal address. And that defines my my types in here. You know, look at type is an abstract class. Uh, and I'm gonna change this to all right. Then I was gonna draw my connectors. So and the arrows actually are important. I actually want the other way. I want that. Yeah. And this will be um, has. Right? As an event day. An event. As an event day. I wonder. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm thinking of in terms of so I call this class event detail because um, because event is a reserved name in C sharp. I, but it's really an event. I would love for this to actually say event as the label. Uh, I used I know the old libraries I was using I could do that. Uh, look at that. All right, um, is located at or is held at. Okay. Now, the other thing I want to do here, I um, actually want to do like this, move this here. And don't worry about it. Generally, they're curved lines. I'm not going to worry about it. All right. So I, I just want to make sure we show this. All right. So what I want to do next, I actually want to, I normally document my database in my, in my database, in my Gremlin. Database. This is what I do in Gremlin. So, all right. So let's talk about Gremlin. And I got to admit, it's been two months since I've written Gremlin code. I might not remember all of this. Um, so, and we can actually execute it right here, which is nice. So, uh, I want to do t dot e add v add v. Oh, I'm going on like hold on a second. One of these, I, I basically know this, but draw a little bit of a blank. Fine. Yeah, okay. All right. Oh, that's what I was. Reading. Okay. So, <clears throat> so, what I do is I want to do, and this will be a uh, this will be event. I'm gonna try to do for uh, and properties. Okay. So event property, then we're going to call this an ID. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm actually I'm creating an object in this database, and the first thing, okay, you know, uh, you know what? That's actually well, I should do this. I'm doing it this way. Let's do it here first. Okay, I'm just trying to think how I want to do this. I know what I should be doing, but let's do this here first. Because I, I want to describe what I'm doing. Um, let me make this a little bit bigger. And zoom me that. Just make it a little bit easier to read. So we're gonna do uh, gene of it. Uh, add an event. I, okay, so I'm adding an event. Um, so I'm adding my properties. So this is what, how you build these things, right? 
And then I can go ahead, um, actually, there's actually an easier way. Oh, no, there's not. Uh, okay. I've been, do I've been doing more, uh, I've actually been working more on uh, documents. I have on graphs recently. So we'll, uh, okay, I'm just creating something to, to define this. So I'm a property, and actually, I'm going to look up something real quick. Look up how I've done this. I want to make sure I, because I actually have found a great way of doing this. Uh, Personal document backup. Look over some old code that I still have. Just looking at it last night. Oh, you know what I should be looking at? Let's look at something different. Ugh. And... I don't know logged in. My account. There we go. And let's go to one of my presentation about crafting away cosmos. And what I'm looking for of okay, so yeah, I'm adding. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know why I couldn't remember. All right. So go back here. <clears throat> so I got. Yeah. All right. All right. So I got my event ID. I have the name of the property. That's what I'm forgetting. So I got my name of our property that I have with, you know, so schema. Uh, Identifier of the of the parent event. The event. So I'm just defining this table more. All right. Property. Uh, actually, yeah. 
a little bit easier. But... Sorry, I keep on going back and forth on what I'm going to do here. Let's do this. Um, all right, so now what I want to do, uh, I want to, yeah, I'll just do it right here. We're going to have a uh, new folder, Gremlin scripts. New item. And there is no thing to run Gremlin scripts. I'm actually going to, I'll just write something again real quick. So I'm just going to create a file. I just want a text file. General text file. And we're just going to call it, we're going to call this a schema dot gremlin. And there is no dot gremlin file. I'm actually making it up as I go. I'm going to do something, something brand new. Fine. Actually, I could probably add some, you know, some syntax adding to that. That could be kind of cool based upon what they were saying. All right. So uh, now what I want to do is I want to take this. I want to do a vertical tab like that. And now I want to go back to here. So Gremlin scripts, they're, they're very, very simple. Very, very simple. So g.v, I don't know, I mean, I've been saying this, but of course I'm not doing a good job of Showing that, am I? G dot add v, and then we're having our so we're gonna call it event. Um, I have to see if I can if I can have that like if I'm like gremlin. I don't even know if that works. Let's see if that even works that way. It might not because it's already gonna. Um, that, that doesn't work. Properly. All right. Anyway, I pull it down to doing something I did before. Oh, well, I was thinking about that a lot last night. All right, so we're going to add V. So add a vertex with a label of event. So the name of, of that vertex. Um, now I'm going to add a property. And the name of this property is going to be ID. All right, so I'm just defining what that property is. And then I'm going to say, uh, oh, sorry. And then, you know, then I'm just going to describe this. So this is... Um, Identifier of the of the event document document schema. Uh, this is the database container gra graph this partition key. database all right so, so what you see here i mean this is adding so we're adding a watch this is i, I want to be able to see the properties that I have. actually i can do this too. i know what i can do um let's save this close all of this go to here go. um because i want to be able to see my properties at it so in here I'm adding that event. I'm adding the, the vertex of event, um, and I'm start adding properties. So I have dot property, and I'll do a dot property. 
uh, name. Name of the event. No, I can't type. Next is tagline. Checking something here. Yeah. Um. The uh, the tagline for the event property uh, uh, about the about for the event You know, as I'm thinking about it, I actually could generate this from the same thing. If I actually wrote a utility for that, that'd be kind of cool. I'm, I'm, I'm basically writing the same thing multiple times. That's giving me an idea. Hmm. Let's finish this. It might diverge a little bit. All right. Uh, I might diverge later on. I need to research it. And no one understands what I'm saying. That's okay. All right, location name. The name of, of the location where the primary location where the event is current, uh, taking place. Interesting, it actually knows to put in those quotes. It definitely, there, again, there is no such thing as a dot grammar. Made that up. Okay, so here, we wouldn't actually have this. And that's, this is where I, I, I definitely got to make some changes in my code. All right, so there won't be a location. Um, I really won't even have that. Do I? Do I do it? No, I don't want that. There's no need to do it. I have the idea. See, that's where we're doing some of this. Really makes it. One second, I need to look at what. Sorry about that. All right, so uh, we have our end date, property. I'm distracted with things I don't need to get. Uh, so start date, end date, that days is not going to be in here. Uh, is scheduled. Okay. And registration site. And he is current. You know, yeah, no, I do. I don't really want it in here. This made a whole lot of sense for SQL. I'm going to do this differently. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that upsetting. Yeah, for right now, I'm not gonna include that. So we're gonna have this, and make this all one line. And no, actually, let's do like that. Well, okay. To run it in the console, like I want to do right. I need it. I need to be one. All right. So now I'm gonna go in here. Just gonna place that in here. Keep that. Oh, why? This is a database part two. Not at vertex where the part two key property has. Oh. There we go. And so sure enough, I now have that one item. And we can start seeing it. How much to see so far? Um, yeah, I was doing that. Yeah, was I doing that? The property name. Check myself. I guess this is what I had this before. I thought I had this name, country, name, state. Okay. As long as I don't ever use name as an actual property, which I, I don't. So let's just go in here. Make a little change in here. Uh, let's go ahead and M1. Let's add that. Uh, like that. And then I'm going to add a property of name. Okay. Ah, okay. Now I see. Uh, hold on. Doesn't screen. Ready. Okay. I see. I see. I see. I see. All right. Let's see, we got our thing. All right. So. Name the event, and there's a reason why. I'll, 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 so the reason why I'm putting this name property in here is, you know, if you look here at what Gremlin does, it's Cosmos's station Gremlin. If I can pick the right browser. This one. You know, so it's got the name of, because it's basically, and if we were to pull out the property, um, the, because, uh, because I, um, oh, Because name is name. There is a property called. All right, this is really, as I'm getting deeper in this, and again, this is good. I, I, I really, uh, been, uh, like I said, it's been a little while, a couple months, and uh, I, I, I'm trying to do something different uh, with graphs. Because of the way how some of the things I was doing before 
aren't available anymore. But I'm actually having some problems with it. And that's okay. This is good. So here's the thing. I was thinking about this last night. I, as I was reading, as I was reading through this documentation, all right. Uh, and, and like I said, I think this could work pretty well for some things. Uh, but I was reading through this, and sure enough, I actually went through some old code of mine um, that I'm not going to share on the live stream uh, because it's it belongs to a company right, that I used to work. Um, I know I don't have all our code, but I, I do have a piece of, of the code that I wrote. Um, a hat that just happens to be um, in my machine. Actually, it's code. That part of the code actually never went into production. But uh, um, long story short, it was, it was one of my exam. I should say it's really a prototype. Just to be clear of what I did and did. I love it. The dog was coming down the stairs, and, and I hear my dog, my, my daughter. You know, he's barking because he's excited. They're going out for a walk, and my, and my daughter is shushing him the whole way down. <laughs> he loves his walks. All right. So long story short, I, I think I basically need to almost take a pause for a moment on the Copalaza site. What I need, I need something better to handle Gremlin. So the thing about all right, let me, let me try to explain what I'm talking about. Because while it's in my head, that doesn't help everyone else. So in here, um, I have, you know, if you look, so here's the documentation. Here's a quick start, build a .NET Framework or core application using Azure Cosmos DB, Gremlin account, all right? So, and, you know, if you scroll down in here, and more importantly, get to where they're writing code. So they're, they're, there is no real API in this, right? They're just just going through here and, and right, you know, they're basically just generating that, right? The, 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 the Gremlin code. And sure enough, this project is actually taking that step further. It is relating everything. Um, I'm actually thinking, I'm like, I really need to play with this project some more. I might uh, that might be what I switch to for the rest of this stream. Um, that might actually have some value to it. Because so I'm working through this, and what we have it has edges in here. Is that all right? Let's do this. Let's uh let's close up what I was working on here. Go ahead and save all that. Close that. And because I don't need oh, the, the current application. Now let's let's um go through here and what am I trying to say? I want to uh, let's work through their sample project they have. Um, it is interesting you have a sample project, but fully fleshed out. Um, portal out. <clears throat> and or let me, let me create a, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna create a new database. I'm just gonna do it in here. I'm gonna create a new graph. And we're gonna call this Gremlink. Yeah, I don't know if they're calling it GremQ, Gremlink. The fact that it's all, you know, applies that way, I'm, I'm thinking it's Gremlink. All right, I'm gonna leave this as manual. And my graph ID. Grimlock and my partition key. So, so they have a sample project. Their sample project. So like their the README is the regular README. Um, so if I look at their samples, trigger it. Okay, like person. Person, a 
mammal. <laughs> like, because they have cats, dogs, mammal. The so mammal has so the vertex with an age, vertex property of name. Vertex, here they have their ID, label, okay, and they, okay, they just call it partition key, partition key, and really it's all you do need. All right, so I'm going I'm to I'm a basically do the same thing they're doing. So my partition key is just going to be partition key. And, and basically, I'm just playing with this. I want to see how this works. I'm going to create a database so I can access. And in their sample code, where are we going to start? First sample. Hold on. Let's look at their notes. First sample. It was soft, software, nose, edge, created, and that, okay. Ah, he even added that for Cosmos DB. Because this is, this is meant for not just Cosmos. All right. First sample. So software, there's created. What is it? What's that? Add on. Okay. Where? You know, that's actually, okay, let's do this. Samples. Clone this. Visual Studio. Clone this repository. Here, to repo, and here we'll call this XRAM. All right, we see we have a program going. Filling, that's for sure. Finish that. So if I look at, you get, okay, so they've got the, They have the Cosmos provider, Gremlin server, Neptune, and all that. Do I need Neptune? That's AWS. I guess depending on what I'm going to run this against. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll buy that. They have the logging console, and then the, because it's a core app, okay. Uh, why not? Oh, I shouldn't do that. But I did. And if I, I'm actually going to force a compile just to be just to be sure. I know it's already compiled, but no errors, no warnings, no. Matter. So, um, I'm on the server. Ah, 
Okay, okay. So, because I could run Gremlin locally, I because I particularly want to see this in Cosmos. Okay, once we put that stuff in, you're right at graph name. Okay. So, all right, here's what I'm going to do. Add. Call this Cosmos settings. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, I'm going to extract something here real quick. So this wants uh, URI, so we'll have, um, Cosmos calls this. Portal. I am looking at screen off, or off screen because um, this is so... Passwords. But you know, when I do uh, demos, I actually show I actually show all of this. I don't hide this. But it's also because I kill that that database right after I get out of there. Um, so at least you know if you're uh, if you're slimy enough to to grab my my keys, you're only gonna get it for you know for long enough. You're not gonna do too much damage. Um, all right, so within the cons or within the portal, I can get my keys. That is just called oh, endpoint. That's what I was trying to think of. I would have won. Points are slightly different. Okay, um. Let's call it the URI, the public ring URI. There's, I'm going to say URI. Let's spring. Right there. And okay, so database name, what else do we want? Graph name. This will be uh Yeah, I know this isn't. I'm, and I'm just trying to public string off key. Bring that. I'm not gonna show you. And uh, what I want to do here, and we're we're now going to copy this down. So um, take it off screen real quick. 
Plants away. Remember the end points. Uh, maybe, maybe not. E. I don't really mind sharing. I mean, anyone who knows uh, knows enough about Gremlin knows what my or knows enough about Cosmos knows what my uh, URI is. Yeah, I've created that, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say Cosmos settings dot. And I need to make I forgot to Now, why is it complaining? Oh. Really, that is a string. It is looking for a URI. Of course it is. Just a uh, try. Now uh, it's got those values, everything compiles. We're logging for a... Okay. All right, so what, are, what is this doing? Now that we've got this basically set up to, to run. Um, we're saying run, create the graph, create the vertices, relation in one query, do all these. Okay. So create the graph. So what are we gonna do here? So in here we're gonna create a graph very similar to one found at address. So I'm gonna create one basically mimic the uh, uh Osmos was shown or with the uh, Gremlin. Or I should say Tinkerpop. Okay, so they're okay, so they're creating something like this. Okay. Uncommon to delete the whole graph on the run. Uh, so sure enough you can see this G and if I get, so that's being defined as a I Gremlin query source. Okay, that's cool. Person Marco, okay. And that makes sense to me to do it that way. I don't know if I'd add the so Marco equals a weight rate, add a new vertice person gets it back. Okay, 
I want to run through this, but let's um, let's do something here. Let's open up Visual Code. Haven't load <laughs> work code on there. Um, I and obviously this is the Open up a browser outside of what you can see. We're just gonna sign in. All right, and then this is a nice little tool, you know, uh, or extension into Visual Studio. Um, I didn't really mean to do that. All right. Here, there should be in there. Correct. All right. Now, and the long story short, why I do all this because I can we can run queries in here. We, we can kind of see what is doing as it does. That. And all right. So let's go to our run. And we're going to create a breakpoint right there. And we're going to run this. And framework two two was not found. Okay. It's easy enough to fix. Change with. Let's see if that breaks anything. Can this still compile? Still compiles. All right. No, I do not have two two on my machine. Uh, which I do need to install because I do have something. All right. Going to be here. Margaret, expecting the URI schema to be either. Okay. All right. I was I was questioning that. And I know what that problem is. So sure enough, there's Gremlin endpoint is different, but I wasn't sure. Like some of the other stuff I've played with, it actually wants the .NET SDK URI. This does not. Let me go ahead and fix a quick file that I don't want to see. Not right. 
again. All right. So we're going to go into this create graph method. And the very first thing we do, it's going to drop everything. Don't seem too much. All right. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to add a vertice of new person with the name of Marco, and who is 29 years old, and we're going to return that object. That's simple enough to understand. Or I run that. Now if I execute this, excuse me. Sure enough, you can see I have that person in here. Now if I was looking at that JSON, I could see E label height properties age name position key. Okay. That all makes sense. Uh, hold on, we'll look at the uh, calendar. Sure, time I have. To, time my next meeting is at. Um, okay. All right. I do have. I have something that I'd like to go. To. More importantly, I have something that got plenty. All right, we can at least step through this, and then I think that's where we'll finish off. So, so, uh, so we created Marco, and we can see that's in here. The so next thing we're going to do, we're going to add Badas. All right, um, that should be really simple. F10, Badas. This is the fastest thing in the world, that's for sure. That really should not be taking that much. Stop this. Runs again. I should have looked to see if I had air. I didn't look at that. So we're gonna step in there. I drop everything. If I execute this, it should be. Now we're gonna create Marco. Marco. Yeah, it doesn't show it the most cleanest. Uh, keep on going. I don't know. I, 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 actually, I wonder if it was a little lowercase, if that would have worked better. Forget. I think it does. So, some things to look at for this. All right. So, now we were on this Vardos. Uh, all right. I don't know why that was a moment ago. Now, sure enough, I do this. See those two different people in there. Uh, now we're going to add Josh. And we're going to add Peter. Okay. So we, we now should have four objects in here. Four objects. Now, in, we're going to create Daniel. And Daniel has some phone numbers. Okay, that's all. That's basically all. Curious. So phone numbers. Um, now, which where looking through the JSON, the so it's just added another property phone number as okay. And then on Charlie, we're going to add, okay, so now we're going to add Charlie. Charlie is a dog. Okay. Okay, this is just showing inheritance and John, which is that. We're going to add Luna. What I'm looking for is where, you know, are they going to add the edges here? See and add in. So we're gonna add that. We're gonna add ripple. Ripple's a saw so okay, now we're in software. It's a really weird uh graph that we got going. So now we got all these. It does do a job of good coloring. Hard to read this. 
this is uh, the graph is decent. I don't. I, I go back and forth what I use. I, all right. So in here, I'm going to look for Marco, and I'm going to add an edge of nose to the kind of the us ID first eight. Okay, so that gave it to me. It didn't re oh, it didn't return anything. So why the first async? Because it didn't re like return anything. Now it's a little bit harder to see, but see, I've got that person to. Okay, so it's just that relation. All right, that's all it's doing. Which okay, I mean, uh, and we and we get we get this. So we we now have got some relationships going. We now we're now we're starting to see a graph. Um. All right, I think I'm gonna end it there. I need. I'm gonna keep on playing with this. I'm gonna probably play with this a little bit tonight. Uh. It's not bad when I'm what I'm seeing so far, but I don't know if it really meets 100% what I want. I need to think of what I want to do with it. All right, so that's been a great day. I mean, we didn't get that much done. Um, but some of this is exploration. I actually did want to explore in this. So in October, you know, I'm doing a talk about graphs, which is kind of bad right now. I'm getting some of my gremlin code. Um, like I said, the project I, I talked, the project we used during that, I, it's been abandoned. It doesn't work right now. I mean, um, I mean, I'm, I am debating whether I just pick it up, maybe fork it, and make changes I would like to have seen anyways. I, I don't know. I'm trying to decide. Or use this because it's actually used, and there would be just me. All right, well, with that, that's, um, you know, again, I want to thank everyone. Now, nothing's working on the screen. Why is my camera not coming up? That's kind of interesting. I don't know where my camera went. At any rate, um, definitely want to thank everyone. Yeah, my camera's just not showing at all. Turn on. Yeah, you definitely don't see my camera. Uh, yeah, well, no one wants to watch me fool around with my camera. Oh, well. At any rate, who can we go raid? Let's see. Uh, who can we go raid? Who is out there right now? Uh, which? Uh, Code versus is, is out there right now. That could be. Uh, Code versus is always fun. It's always doing some really interesting stuff. Let's, let's take a look at what Code Rush is. Uh, rewriting uh, Google Sheets. All right, well, that could be kind of interesting. Uh, what's Microsoft Developer doing right now? They're probably still doing their... Um, they're, they're doing uh, their code... Uh, not code... Uh, their... Uh, what's my call? I'll think... Um, the GitHub thing. Over Brian Labs. They have recommended. Copy this. All right, so we're going to go ahead. Aid. Sure, we do. Chris, I'm not sure what sure we do means. All right. 
Well, I'm going to send this over to uh, Brian Lagunas, uh, who, who's talking about uh, writing Visual Studio extensions right now. Um, I hope everyone has an awesome day. It's a raid!